Hey, hey, we hey. We should be live now. And we are live. I think we're live. <laughs> are we live? We you guys are. tell us if we're live? <laughs> we are. Are we live, Thomas? Are we live? We are alive, hopefully. So anyway, another tip for Our tip today. for today. It has to do with turning. Um, a lot of people have questions about turning. A lot of people have trouble turning. Mm -hmm. I used to have trouble turning too. Like everybody struggles and, with this. Um, one thing, point. yeah, that helped me personally is to think of my pelvis with the two seat bones like a compass in geometry where you have the needle that you stick in the paper that marks the center of the circle you want to draw. And then on the other side of that compass, you have the, the pencil. And then you draw the circle with the pencil around so the needle. Draw you know. the outside seat bone around exactly. the needle. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, your inside seat bone is sort of like the needle and the outside seat bone is the pencil. And that really helped me um, prevent the shoulder of the horse from drifting out or the neck from overbending, etc. And then all of a sudden they started turning like a little train on tracks. All of a sudden that worked. And right? so that you start actually turning with your pelvis instead yeah, exactly. of just turning with the reins, right. which it's, so many exactly. people make yeah. this mistake. It's really exactly. natural, yeah. but yeah. that's not how we want to do it. Yeah. yeah. The advantage of that is that it gets your attention onto your pelvis because most people are much more mobile in their shoulders and their head. And, you know, I've seen people who turn their head 90 degrees they turn their shoulders 45 degrees and the pelvis keeps pointing straight ahead. Right. So the horse keeps going straight. Right. I remember years ago, we had a student that came to us in a clinic and she couldn't, I'm going to put my water down. She couldn't get her horse to turn. She had this really cute air mm -hmm. and um, the horse was going that way. And she was like going like this, mm -hmm. but her pelvis mm -hmm. was pointing the direction that right. her horse was going. So right. she was essentially really confusing the horse mm -hmm. without wanting mm -hmm. to, of course she wanted yeah. to figure it out, but she couldn't. Yeah. Um, at, at that point she hadn't been able to figure it out. And so the, the horse was really obediently following the pelvis mm -hmm. right. and the, everything else, the legs, yeah. the reins, everything. Mm -hmm. She was grunting and trying really mm -hmm. hard and trying to make the horse go one way. Mm -hmm. and the horse was going the other way. Yeah. Yeah. If the, I mean, the horse essentially <coughs> tends to go where the belly button points. If the mm -hmm. belly button points at 12 o'clock, then it doesn't matter where your shoulders are pointing, where your head is looking. The horse will just go mm -hmm. to 12 o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. And the, the compass idea with the needle and the pencil gets you to turn your pelvis so your belly button actually points in a different direction. Yeah. And that's why the horse will So everything tend acts to as a unit turn. instead of all these parts of the body mm -hmm. that aren't talking to each other. That's yep. not helpful for the horse. It's not helpful yep. for us. Exactly. So, yeah. Well, so that, that was it. Is our tip for the day. Maybe you and can comment. Is, yeah. Is that something you can relate to? Is that something you find helpful? There are other or, ways of thinking about exactly. turning the pelvis, and I mm -hmm. myself use a slightly different one, but a lot of people find this one mm -hmm. extremely helpful. So let us know. Yeah. Or, or even better, go try it next try time it you ride and mm -hmm. report back. <laughs> we want to hear mm -hmm. how did this change mm -hmm. the way you're turning? Did it help? Did it mm -hmm. not help? Did you find that it simplified something? Mm -hmm. We'd love to hear. Yeah, It's always interesting so, when you change anything. Does it make the horse better? Does it make the horse worse? Or does it not change anything? Yeah. These three options. There are no, no more options than that, right? Right. So that's always a great way to evaluate. Does it? Make sense to keep doing this, or is it something I, you know, discard again? Yep. Well, let us know. Very good. Thanks. Bye. See you later.